I think I see you. You see me. Oh, I see you. I don't see through you, <laughs> but I see you. And I see you. You get a big hello from Thank you. The balloon individual. All right. Wow. You're getting loaded right off the bat. I love it. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I, so I did a lot of fluff in between so that, you know, I would let you relax a little bit before we started. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. So realistically, as you're describing and all the synonyms and everything that you've just um, allowed us all to hear, to be very clear on what a blueprint textbook wise is, every single human has their own individual blueprint. So no difference than our, and we all know this medically, let's say, right? We all, or genetically, everybody has their own specific blueprint, no different than your finger fingerprints, right? No two are alike. So as a coach, I don't create any real blueprint for you. All I do is help you discover and rediscover the blueprint that can be yours, mm -hmm. you were born to have, um, what you desire to have, and then lay that out in a process or a formula or a blueprint for you to achieve and have like the best life absolutely possible that, that actually you and all of us are born mm -hmm. to have. So, yeah. So we call it the blueprint for success. Um, however you describe success as well, right? So, so many of us, as soon as we hear success, oh, that person's really successful. What's the first thing we think of? Money. But mm -hmm. success is, money is just that small percentage of it. You know, mm -hmm. when we really should be seeing success in people, it's what they consider for themselves what success and successful is you know if you have a friend that is just wanting to be a watercolor painter for the rest mm -hmm. of their life and they right. may not make any money at it but every day they are so joyful and so happy and so relaxed and loving and and you know able to to be mm -hmm. like absolutely i just say she's one of the most successful people in the world because she's been able to find and, and have and create and do everything that, that she, her life is, has, was intended to be so, like. So many. So, okay. The biggest, so this is also one of my uh, free workshops, which at the end of our session, I actually have posted in my, um, in my bio on mm -hmm. Instagram, a link to, a, a, a live who are you find your way mm -hmm. um 45 minute sort of workshop oh. the most important so for anybody that's watching and i'll have it up till the end of the weekend okay so whoever's watching and wants to join me then the following sunday on the 15th we can do that we're going to do it live um oh. and uh that way too it's literally taking you back to the beginning how you were born who are you really like mm -hmm. That's where it all starts. All the other stuff to whatever age you are or whatever's happened in your life so far, whatever hasn't happened, the hurt, you know, the, the, the pains, the, the celebrations and some of the successes, you know, all of that afterward isn't defining who you are. Mm. Who you are never changes. It is what you are and it is how you were born. And that's what we figure out first. So literally that part of the workshop only takes 15 minutes. It's so easy to go back there. So as an aside, you know, I'd say to you, Paxton, Paxton, who are you? I am a little boy with shorts and run around on the grass barefoot. Love it. No, like, I really seriously, am. That's I'm just saying. I just told you that's literally who that I am. That was a really. That was like a <laughs> bomb it. answer. That was like the bomb. Like literally. I don't like wearing long pants if I don't have to. I like wearing shorts, and I like being barefoot and running in the grass or in the sand at the beach. For sure. And no, I mean I'm the, literally that little kid because that's literally. I get it. Who I, I want totally get so, it. I wasn't giving you a hard time. I just wanted you to know that I was no, literally. I am, I am. No, and I'm loving it because that to me. 
as a coach speaks volumes. Like I could get into all of, you know, mm -hmm. your feet in the grass, your feet in the sand, what feelings that brings you, you know, all of the emotional internal reasoning to use those descriptive words mm -hmm. to describe who you are. Right. Majority, I would say literally 90% of people, um, and, and you know, and I have this on the landing page before you get into the workshop is 20% of most people really would answer. I have no idea who I am. And then you get 20% that would say, I'm a husband, a wife, a mother, a yeah, brother, an aunt, yeah, no, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's right. not who you are, right? right? And then you get another 20% that are like, you know, I don't need anybody to tell me who I am. I know wow. who I am. And then you're like, wow. uh oh, I think you better come to the workshop if you're that person. <laughs> and then, you know, you get another 20% who are just- We need to try just, to find those people and get them to the workshop. Yeah, right. We need to find them, put them in the workshop. <laughs> uh, we got a little buffering here. Hopefully, you can still hear me and see me uh, uh, there on your end. I'm here. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. I got so, you. Back. And then, I yeah, got you. like, okay, I mean, the other 20%, they're just the easy flowers, their game. They're like, okay, yeah, I'd love to find out a different way of seeing me, right? So, so, and, and, and taking you back to really just who you are first mm -hmm. al allows you to remember and realize no one person, no one thing, no one bad decision, no crappy boss, nothing. Nobody can ever take that away from you, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. If you lose your job, your identity is not gone. Your, your life's not yeah. over. Yeah. You, who you are, is still there, right? Or, and I know, you know, you, you have um, uh, Narc Abuse TV, and we talk about narcissism mm -hmm. and stuff like that. The same. I've had that in my life. We still have that in our life. So mm -hmm. I get it. No one person can destroy you, right? So that because you now know really who you are and that's yours that's yours to keep and that's yours to keep forever and that you got is some, i just want to tell you, you got some love on, i have to tell you you got something on the screen i don't know if you saw it she's talking no to i you didn't there. see it okay I so i'll read it. it to you uh heather on uh, uh or h2 <laughs> or since i'm dealing with two heathers this is a first yes. by the way uh so it's uh heather says i really like this heather talking to you uh, this is a very mind-challenging concept of success. I feel like I would be successful if I would discover who I am. Uh, she also added, this is something I've always struggled with. Who mm -hmm. am I? Absolutely. And, you know, again, therefore, once we figure out really who you are and, you know, you ask questions. Like, I mean, if somebody just comes to me, I'm not jumping right in there. You know, I'm going to ask, mm -hmm. you know, like, yes why are we here together, right? Like what's going on, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but eventually, even in that session, the very first session, or it might be even the second or third, then we're really figuring out, you know, let's get back to you, okay? Because all of the situations or the stuff or the struggle that mm -hmm. you're bringing to yeah. have a coach help you work through all starts with how you, are handling it, right? How you are choosing to deal with it, how you are interacting with it. So it's hard. It's don't get me wrong. Like it's all part of all of us wanting to make a change that are wanting to make a change, right? So like, as you've seen, you know, in my Instagram page, and you know, um, all about this mask wearing, this is where we end up losing it, right? It's almost like, we're awesome. Till we get to be about seven or eight, right? We're awesome. Nobody, nobody, you don't even think you're not, yeah, I like right? That. Every kid I like thinks that. they're awesome, right? <laughs> and then yeah. something happens. We go to school and then all of a sudden, you know, There's a bully. There's a bully. I, I was, I was the bully kid. I'm, yeah. I'm itty bitty. I'm petite, right? So don't think it's just, you know, I'm the chubby kid or whatever. Yeah. I'm still scared yeah. of you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's, you know, I was the little kid cause I was the kid that got put in the garbage cans, you know, but I oh, wow. think, thank God or shoved in the lockers, you know, all those sorts of things. And really it's the, the bullying thing, you know, we can, that's another whole show and I'm sure you've done lots of shows on it, but again, what do you think, hey, what do you think you're here for? Don't be trying to change the subject. Go ahead. Start talking uh, about it. Yeah, no, no, no. I know, but I had to change my, or, or 
finish my thought on that that right. that last one. So, um, see now now you got me, dude. Now I'm like so, now so I'm when like it, in when bullying. it comes to so, taking the mask off. Yes. So the mask wearing is we start to learn how to shield yeah. how we're really feeling so that we fit in, right? Or others don't see us to either bully us. So those are, you know, younger years. And then you get in, in and I mean younger years to like high school. Yeah. And then hopefully by a university or college, if you're privileged enough to go, if you've been privy to go or that next stage of life, maybe it's mm -hmm. just you decide you want to work. That's great. Then we all sort of start looking around and want to fit into those environments, right? So we yep. create more shields, more masks. And yeah. the next thing you know, you got a bunch of 30, 40 year olds <laughs> going, what the heck's going on? Who am I anyway? Like I'm so on, I'm pretending to be happy. Hello. Welcome to the whole Instagram platform. Right? No, nobody's home. Ooh. And all of a sudden social, yeah, social media like, becomes your new high school. It becomes or, high school well, all over again. We hope it doesn't, right? And, you know, 1.1, 1 .1, ooh, she must be so awesome. She's got 1.1 million followers and yeah, on Instagram. Yeah. And it's like, it's all a show, people. It's yeah, smoke it's and mirrors, followers. right? He's so, he's well, me. exactly. So, and I mean, this is where, too, um, for yourself reaching out to people, you know, you, you reach out to people that have great followings. You reach out to people <laughs> like myself that has a small following. It doesn't yeah. really matter. That, that as well, don't like, I'm not, I'm not like selling myself, but don't sell no. anyone short on these platforms that don't have large. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Very, I be, firmly I, like, believe that. I, I no, but I, just be, like, I got in a dance and it doesn't even me. have to be, yeah. And it doesn't even have to be like, they're all of a sudden doing like, you know, the crazy stuff. No, it, could it could be that be, you're, yeah. you're hiding in going to the barbecue and always having to just be the fun up one yeah. all the time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's just so not, and you know, that's not you. It's almost like you take a deep breath before you walk in there going, all right, I got to get on, you know, or I have to be on, or yeah. they invite you because, Oh, we can't not have you. You're the fun one, you know? <laughs> and you're just like, Oh my God. You know, Is this my it's job. Not, Is this my yeah, job. All of a sudden? Like, I got to show up every time and make everybody happy. Yeah, uh, or gotta, it's not you know, who I am. It's yeah, not, and, and it doesn't fit in. Uh, right, a segue real quick before I, I, I we get into talking about bullying is um, Heather uh, on screen, not my guest Heather, Heather too, says um, that she struggled with what we were talking about, who she is, uh, as many people do, as we all can come to that uh, aspect in our life. And she says, oh, yes, I made myself as invisible as possible until this year. I had a breakthrough and I am 38. And then she Good says, job. yes, yes, yes. Yes. She, she even says, yes. Oh my God, this is so validating. But what, what starts Good to job. happen with people is this, these, they'll have moments like this then is what you're saying. Uh, coach, you're saying that people will have moments like this, that they will have a breakthrough. So, and the breakthroughs, are going to happen at different times within your life. It's just a matter of if you're going to really listen to yourself mm -hmm. and do something with that breakthrough or what you're feeling is a breakthrough or that desire to embrace and make a change. And this is where myself more so that I niche as a confidence coach. Okay. It takes a lot of confidence to make the change or it takes a lot of courage. Courage and confidence can go hand in hand a lot of the time. And, you know, v making very clear that confidence and having a healthy self-confidence or confidence about everything and anything, even just confidence about your decisions or confidence about anything in life mm -hmm. has nothing to do with arrogance or anything like that. Like that, okay. you know, somebody who is a confident person that can walk into a room Still, like, I consider myself a confident person, and believe me, I've walked this path. I lost my confidence in and around in the 40s. I'm 53 now. So I've done that whole sort of progression that I baby. talked about. You're still a baby for me. So, still, okay, still whatever, whatever. Baby. Anyway, oh, yeah, and I got lots of years, <laughs> lots of years in me yet. But, um, you know, you, you, you walk that path, and did I hear myself? as Heather too, I'll call her Hev because I can say Hev. that. Okay, there we go. Hev. There you go. She's, she's a Heather, so I can go Hev. Even okay. if she hates it, I'm sorry, Heather, if you hate it. <laughs> Don't bully her. 
I'm not bullying her. I would never. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. Love ahead, head, go. love. Yeah. Completely that, you know, if, if I at 38, I know that yeah. I just wasn't ready yet yeah. to really, what I say, stand outside the circle and truly be myself. Wow. Because I wasn't ready and didn't have the confidence and the courage yet to really do that. So I stayed where I was comfortable. I stayed with what I knew. I stayed yeah. in something that I knew still wasn't exactly who I was. It wasn't going where I wanted. It wasn't the blueprint that when I put my head down at night and lie in bed and dream about the house or the, you know, being able to travel or where do I want to be when I'm technically retired or what, how old do I want to be when I retire? Right. I still stayed because, and that's what a lot of us do. We stay in this mode. We stay in this progression. We stay in this, uh, I'll say flow if it be a good or bad flow, right? Um, because it's what we know. Walking outside of what we know is the challenging part, is the courageous part, is the part that um, is where, you know, you will then find finally your feet on the ground, finally right. being able to breathe and be in your own skin. You can start to shed that suit of armor. Yeah. One of the biggest things is, and it's so true, and you hear it all the time, people aren't really talking about you as much as you think. Oh, yeah. They're talking about you, right? <laughs> yeah. That's just your own head. Yeah. You, know, you might see two people talking at work, and one of them just by chance in that conversation gl glanced your way <laughs> in the office, and then you're like, oh, my God, what are they saying about me? Da -da -da. Good they, girl. They're, not even thinking, they are, they're not even thinking they, about you. They didn't even see you, really. Yeah, you know what I mean? Even see, oh, that's a good one. Didn't even yeah. see you. They didn't even really see you. That person really, or could be totally staring in your direction in the office, Looking but they're right engaged totally, or at the party, or at the barbecue, wherever the the gathering may be. Right? You know, why or why are you looking at me like that? I did not yeah. see that person. Yeah. I, you know what? Or whatever. Like, you know and what? Then, she never liked me. I don't. You know what? I don't like her either. You know. <laughs> but what is that? You. What is that internal dialogue speaking to, Paxton? I don't know, Coach. Tell us. It's speaking. You were right on there. I love that. <laughs> hey, hey. It's actually, you know, you... I don't. I don't have to answer. I can play. I can play I dumb. I can play dumb. Really good. No, don't Go be ahead. total dumb. That was a good. That was good playoff <laughs> on each other. I don't. I don't know, but, Coach. That's a. That's a lot of things come to my head, but I don't know what is it. <laughs> well, and I know everybody's sitting there going, "Well, of course, it's everything to do with me, right?" Yeah. It's everything to do with me, my insecurities, my not really knowing myself, my not being confident in myself right now, standing in the office, in the job that I've taken. And why is that? So those are those are the things that we then discover together. And we, you know, from first really finding out who we are, then you go into really figuring out what your purpose is in life. And that right now is the blow up on social media. All these coaches are talking about your purpose in life. What's my purpose, 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 right? And this is where, too, finding somebody that you correlate with or that you can work with or personality you connect with is really important. Mm -hmm. But the other big thing is, too, is, you know, read what they have in their in their Instagram, read what they put with their pictures. Okay. Read their content. Mm -hmm. If it's wishy-washy and they're really not still giving you anything, maybe they don't really know. Don't get me wrong. I'm not slighting anybody. Everybody has something of course, offered. Of course not. But all right, when it comes to purpose and really figuring out your purpose, that's mm -hmm. what you were born with. That is innate. That we can figure out so easily again. And then from your purpose. So as an example, we end up boiling it down to a statement. What's my purpose? I'll state it as I would say it to myself in the morning. Okay, I get up and it's all part of my morning routine. And I say my purpose statement. And my purpose is that with my honesty, integrity, humor, and love, I move people with feelings, then action, to discover that they can be do and have 
everything that this life intends for them to experience. That's my purpose. Uh, but uh, that's just a heads up. Uh, I was going to tell right. you that in private, but I'm just throwing it out All to you right. in front of everybody. We have gone sure. one hour and four minutes. I try not to go past an hour and five minutes because I'm old and I need to go take a nap. This is free TV, uh, uh, free podcasting here uh, on Instagram. Uh, you have been an amazing person. I, I just well, I thank like you. you. I've I had like a lot of fun. Energy. I, like I love the energy. energy of the show. It's but I want I want to yeah. get I want to get to next time we get together I want to get to that aspect of your parents and the way you okay. approach the relationships and I want that because there's so many that are still learning uh, how to navigate relationships because they didn't come from a two parent home uh, as yeah. it were um, Very, and so anyhow I, I want to be able to do that we'll we'll talk yeah. we'll talk when we're yeah. able to to make that happen maybe maybe Sounds we can good. do that in September or October depending on our schedule. But uh, thank you for being a beautiful woman, grounded, down to earth, uh, who really cares about people. I will have to say goodbye for now, everyone. Uh, and thank you, everybody that was here. Please like, share, comment, follow Heather's page. Heather, tell everyone your page, please. What is your Instagram page, please? Uh, you can find me at at Hell Yeah Coaching. And Hell Yeah, because like, hell yeah, we can do this, <laughs> is H dot E dot L dot Y A and then coach. So C O A C H. You are an amazing, energetic woman so. who deserves to be recognized for all of the work that you've done. You're a good person, and uh, the Thank planet's you. a better place with uh, a better place because of people like you who are not pushovers. And uh, you're getting some love on the screen. Hearts uh, from I your saw, heart, I saw. Heather. Thank and, you, uh, everyone. And you're getting the Heather those. and others that are here for so. you. Uh, authentically, awesome. authentically, Shug. Uh, who's been on our show as well. Thank you for passing through. We're going to end the show today. We have literally gone one hour, uh, five minutes, and 53 seconds. And this is when I say I love each and every one of you. Bye for now. We will be back tomorrow on Narc Abuse TV Network with Dr. Scott. So join us over there on that platform. Heather, don't change a thing. You're beautiful. I as won't. You. I promise. Take care. Thank See you. See you soon. All Thank right. you. Thanks bye -bye. for having me. Bye-bye.